have we got here? With Dr. Day. And one of the things I love to eat when I'm in the outback is a meal of fresh yabbies. An outback delicacy. This looks like a great spot for them. Water looks good, plenty of hidey holes, lots of structure. Nah, no, this is a good spot. So I'll just pop this in now, come back in the morning, and I reckon I'll have a tasty, a tasty feast for everyone. Well, I'm back here. And let's see if uh, the net I put in yesterday has caught any yabbies for us. Oh yes, got stacks. Oh, and there's a whopper in there too. Oh, here's the big guy. And see, sometimes with these desert yabbies, you get some really nice colours. Look at the blue on those claws. You can see the big powerful claws there, all the smaller legs, and these that, that are used for swimming. And the big powerful tail that flicks back and moves backwards to safety. All right then. Well, let me tell you a few things about yabbies. Now, most people think of yabbies as meat-eating animals. You catch them by putting chunks of meat in, into dams. They're actually not meat eaters. They eat all sorts of things, rotting leaves, vegetation, algae. They're great recyclers. And so when you put a piece of rotting meat down in the bottom of the dam, they don't want that polluting their dam. So they break it up with these big claws, spread it all around so it decomposes, and then get back to their job of quietly recycling all the nutrients in our waterways. They're also, very tasty and that's where these chaps are headed. Now once you've caught some yabbies you can tell if they're boys or girls just by looking underneath. Now if I point carefully here you can see this yabby has little bumps on the middle pair of legs. That makes this a girl yabby. This other yabby here no bumps on the middle legs but quite large bumps on the last pair of legs and this is a male, a boy yabby. So next time you catch yabbies, just by rolling them over, you can tell if your yabby is a girl or a boy. And one thing I like to do when I'm out fishing for yabbies, I make sure I throw all the girls back so they can keep on breeding and make lots of little yabbies for later on. And I only keep the biggest of the boys and I turn them into a feast. Now the color of yabbies varies a great deal based on the quality of the water and, uh, and the environment that, that they live in. Most yabbies are this sort of mid-brown colour, sometimes with a bit of red on their claws. Every now and then you get these ones, blue yabbies, bright blue, especially on the claws. Especially in these outback areas, you can get bright blue yabbies, amazing to look at. 